an early start for us this morning. We're on our way to Koh Samui. Uh, we picked up our tickets from 1 2 go for 1650 bar which actually takes us the full way there picks us up at 6 a.m from our hotel room in Patong. Uh, from there we take a van and then a ferry so the whole journey takes us about nine hours i think it was nine hours i think it's four and a half hours on the van and the rest of the way in the ferry it's my first time in Koh Samui. i've been in thailand you know multiple times but first time in Koh Samui. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way Ended up picking us up at about 6.30. Uh, it took us about four and a half, five hours to get here. Uh, so we've only got an extra two hours left to go. jumped on the ferry we didn't have too much time to spare we only had about five minutes until the ferry took off you know the van ride um, on the way here wasn't too bad we actually took a van plus a bus ride the van ride went for about an hour and then we all got off and jumped onto the bus on the bus ride we had two stops where you could get off you know have a bit of a walk around get some food get some drinks we've only got 15 20 minutes till we off board the ferry so i'm going to head back down get our luggage together uh need, still need to organize a somebody to you know to do a transfer to our hotel um i think it's things on the other side of the island so uh still got to organize up so we arrived in kosamu yesterday um late afternoon we took a taxi to um, you know our part of the island it's supposed to cost us a thousand baht but we ended up uh, splitting the costs of the taxi with another couple uh only took us about 40 oh, half an hour half an hour to get here it's a lot more quiet than what i thought it was going to be uh we are still in low season so we are still you know end of september the taxi driver did say it's usually generally picks up around um, late October, early November. We're on our way to go get a scooter now. There's one just up the road, so we're gonna go get check out those guys, see whether they've got any available scooters. Um, after that, Steph's got a bit of a list that she wants to get through, so we're gonna go check out a coffee shop, um, and we're gonna go check out a, a big rock. Is that right? Is it a big rock? Yeah, that's it. Yeah? All right, so we're gonna go check out this big rock and we're gonna go, um, go to the coffee shop. This one? This one? This one? Uh, I, I will tell you it's about 400. Yeah. Three years old. Sorry? So you reckon that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me 200. Alright, alright. Alright, we'll go that one. Yeah. So we just picked up our scooter. We only got charged 200 baht a day, which is a lot cheaper than Patong. Patong, we're getting charged 250 a day. We're going to go check out this coffee shop now. It's called the uh, the Caffeine Samui. The Caffeine Samui. So we're going to go check out that. We heard it's quite good. Then we're going to go check out the, the, is that the rock, the large rock as well. Yeah, some of the sites around Koh Samui, which would be good. So.
See you later, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for the coffee here. Thank you. Okay, so we just finished up our coffee. It's called the Caffeine Coffees. If you can see it in the background there. So if you're ever in Koh Samui, definitely go check it out. The great ladies that work there, lovely ladies. We're on our way to the Overlap Stone now. So it's gonna take us about 20 minutes to get there on the scooter. It's not just any large rock like I thought it was. It's actually overlooking the whole island. So it's supposed to be fantastic views. We're gonna go check it out now. There's many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right. You don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. We've just parked up the scooters. We've made it about three quarters of the way up. We, park, we leave our scooters here um, and we have to walk up the rest of the way. So it's cost us 20 baht to leave the scooters. The rest of the way we're gonna walk. It's extremely steep, even by the scooters. See if you can see that. And that's where we have to walk up. So we're gonna start making the trek up there now. Apparently it's, it's only about 140 meters, so it's not too far. I'm only about a minute and a half in and I'm already tired. It's only looking steeper. Okay, take two, because I'm not even joking, we almost died. We almost got hit by a falling coconut <laughs> from that one up there, and it fell right there. You can even see the coconut down there. And that was on our first take, so we're gonna give it this one more time. So we just finished up on our overlap. Is that overlap, overleap? Overlap stone. Overlap stone. And it was a lot better than I thought it was gonna to be, to be honest. So I thought it was just gonna be some random rock um, you know, on the edge of the cliff, but it was actually a really large stone uh, balancing on another stone. Okay, I have no idea how it's balancing there, especially with all the wind up here, mm. but it's a lot better than what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it was beautiful. We did have to, it's a bit of a hike to get up here. It's only a short, but pretty steep walk. Um, I mean, you do have to pay 50 baht per person to actually, it's like a, I think they live there maybe, I'm not sure, um, but you have to pay 50 baht per person, which um, I think was probably worth it in terms of the views we're able to see once we pass through that little barrier there so yeah it was really beautiful hey yeah no it was it was, it was a lot better than i thought it was going to be so we're going to head back down now get some lunch because it's quite late i think it's about 1 30 in the afternoon so we're going to go grab some lunch and <laughs> not get hit by a coconut. yeah try not get hit by these coconuts because <laughs> how about you give me the bag and you can use your hands <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Alright, let's go. Koh Samui day two. We've had our early morning coffee. Today we've got some exploring to do. We're going to go explore a waterfall. It's a bit of a track to get up there. Uh, it should take us. Do you know how long it takes us about to get? About 40 minutes or so, I think. About 40 minutes. Okay, she didn't tell me that. She told... <laughs> <laughs> I assumed it was going to be 15, 20 minutes, so she left that part out. Um, yesterday we went to go see Overlap Road. That was actually, like I said, you know, that was pretty cool. But today we we want to go explore some waterfalls. Apparently this waterfall is a little, little dangerous to actually walk up. Apparently there's been some deaths by people, you know, trying to get up there and slipping. So we do have to be quite careful. Uh, but yeah, okay, so 45 minutes, yeah? Okay, well, let's go.
How are you going? Finally made it. it. Took us about, oh, it didn't take us 40 minutes, it took us about 20, 25 minutes to get up here. Um, if you're actually gonna make your way up here, I'd suggest once you get here, there's like a shop down the bottom. Go to the left-hand side of the shop um, and then you'll see a whole bunch of ropes. Follow the ropes and just veer off all the way to your left and just keep following the rocks. You know, um, there's not really a path. You're literally just going up rocks, um, going over, you know, roots, tree roots. It's pretty intense to get up here. It's very, very tiring. But look, the views are spectacular up here. What do you reckon, Steph? Oh, yeah, they're beautiful. Definitely worth, worth the walk. trek. I'm sweating so badly. <laughs> Okay, so we just made it back down the bottom from the waterfall. You know, the views were absolutely stunning. We do strongly recommend, if you do decide to come check out this waterfall, bring shoes. Because I can't imagine trying to go up there, let alone coming back down in just thongs, because it gets very, very slippery on some of those rocks. Mm, it was pretty steep going up and coming back down. But when we were up there, we spent like maybe an hour just sort of taking in the scenery. It's absolutely beautiful up there. Um, definitely worth the steep hike up and down. But yeah, as Clint said, definitely need proper shoes, I think, and probably some mosquito repellent because there's a lot of mosquitoes around. Yeah, 100%. There's lots of bugs, lots of, lots of little critters flying around. Tomorrow we are heading to Bangkok. We got a 12 hour transportation. We got a ferry ride. Then we got a van that goes for 12 hours. So our next video will be coming from Bangkok. See you then.